Aloha and welcome back to Practical Printing and welcome to part six of our CME CNC Rostock Max V 3.2 build series. That's right, we are up to episode six and hopefully this one is going to be a quick one for you. If you haven't been following along, I strongly suggest you pause here, go back and watch the earlier videos and catch up with where we're at. You can also follow along in the manual that is linked down below. If you're not familiar with CME CNC's wonderful deltas, there's also a link down in the description so that you can go read up on their delta machines from their little tiny ones to their big ones. All right, so without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so we are on to the next step and I'm trying to tuck these wires out of the way. We are on to step 23 and this is going to be a quick one here. The only tools that you need for this are a set of wire strippers, a pair of lug crimpers, and a number two Phillips screwdriver. Um, other than the printer that you've got built so far, you're going to need the three yellow crimp terminals and the short length of 12 gauge wire that was included. So let's switch over to the other camera and get started here. Okay. So if you had nicely laced your wiring through at the end of the last step, um, uh, let me back up a second. At the end of the last step, I've kind of noted that the manual really didn't explain how far to pull your wires through. After talking to a few people that have previously built this, they recommend kind of trying to pull it through about halfway. You're actually going to end up with slack at either side. The most difficult one is the thermistor wire. So you want to make sure that you have enough room to manage to get that to the board in top, on top, I should say. And then you have the options of either trimming your wire at the top or the bottom as you don't need it or coiling it up. So in this case, if you can see here, my red wire is obviously longer, much longer than the black after I've kind of nicely laced that through there. So I'm going to trim it up a little bit, but not all the way. I'm going to trim it to about here. And then I am going to strip off about six millimeters or quarter inch off the end of both of these. And that extra length of wire that you pulled out, we're going to strip off about the same length off one end of that. Now we're just going to slide the crimp lug over the end, push it in. If you can't see the wire just poking through, then you crimped did it a little bit too short but you want to see just the wire just barely poking through at the end. And we're going to take our crimper and lock that down. Put a little bit of oomph in it and give it a pull, make sure it doesn't come out. And then you're good. Now we're going to repeat that for the black wire from the X tower and the red from the Z tower as well. There we go. Okay, now there are no spare crimp ends included in the kit. It comes with exactly what you need. However, if you do screw one up and you need to do it over, these are fairly commonly available. You can get them off of Amazon or you can get them at a local hardware store or anywhere locally. Okay, so now that we have all three of those crimped, we need to attach them to the power supply. To do that, we're going to need to remove the left two V pluses, which you may not be able to see in the overhead camera, but it's the left two screws. 
and you're just going to need to pull that up all the way out. And you're going to remove the leftmost V minus. Now, needle nose pliers will help with this so that you can just remove the entire screw like so. Okay, we're going to start with taking the black one. We're going to put any of the three screw terminals through it. We're going to fit that in there. And we're going to tighten it back down. Now you do want to tighten this down snugly so that it does have good contact, but you don't want to tighten it so much that you strip out the screw. And the wires can just kind of dangle inside of there. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other two. Power, these are going to go to, the red two are going to go to the uh, V plus, the voltage plus, or 12 volts. And that's it. Now we can just take this wiring and try to uh, bundle it up a little bit in here, either by just tucking it in loosely for now. And this one I'm just going to tuck, actually I'm going to run this one to the left, through the holes on the other side. And I'm going to curl that up over here with the black wire that came through the Y tower and the thermistor cables. Those are all going to go to the bed at a later time. Okay, that is it for step 23. Nice, quick, easy, and painless. When we move on to the next videos and we start up with step 24, we're actually going to migrate out of the user manual into the assembly guide for the carriages that ride up and down on the rails. So we're going to keep this video short and move that into its own video since that is a little bit of a time consuming part. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning into Practical Printing. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe down below and ring that bell so you can get notified when the next video is out. And as always, special thanks to CME CNC for providing the Rostock Max 3.2 kit for me to build for this build series. And with that, I bid you aloha.